Welcome back everybody to our fourth video on Tableau Public. In this video we're going to discuss how to create a dashboard. To begin the process all we have to do is come down here. This is the sheets option and right next to it is the dashboard option to create a new dashboard. We have our new dashboard. Let's go. I always like to increase the width. I never have enough room with that little space that they give us there. And now I want to match the dashboard shading to what we have on the sheets. So now we're going to go ahead and begin embedding our sheets onto the dashboard. It's a very simple process. We have two options available to us. We can use tiled or floating. I like floating because it gives me more freedom of movement. and embed the second chart and now I want to go ahead and embed an image this is a really simple process all you have to do is find an image online that sort of complements the work that you're producing it complements the story that always needs to be in the forefront of our mind what is our guiding question and any decision that I make has to be influenced by that guiding question the way to embed an image is to come down here to objects. I like the floating option once again. Select image, choose an image. Select the image you want to embed. Select OK and boom we have our image available to us. And next I want these two charts to communicate back and forth. And the way to do that, the way to make them more interactive is to use this filter option. I want both of these charts to be used as filters so that now when I select hip hop and rap, one of the samples, this chart down here will be influenced by it and all of my hip hop artists will pop up. Go to movies, our movies are popping up and it just takes some time to get through some of the formatting issues, some of the sizes will be a little bit different but the way that you can do that is by simply selecting the chart that you're using, come up here to format, adjust the font and you can maneuver this any way that you like. And over here, this is what the something that we can look look at moving forward. And in the next video, we're going to continue this process of editing and formatting. We're going to look a little more into adding text to the dashboard like we have here a title and adding a hyperlink to the dashboard. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. So thanks for watching.